Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Zoom had a major update this week, so if you haven't updated it yet, go up here to the Zoom app, click on Check for Updates. There is the version that I'm running right there. That is the updated version. Uh, I received that, I believe, on April 7th. Today is April 9th. Here's the major update. I'm going to start a new meeting, and it doesn't matter whether this is a scheduled meeting or a meeting that I start instantly, which is a join now meeting. I can either do it with my personal meeting ID, um, or I can just join it without my personal meeting ID or dynamic ID. I'm gonna pick that one. It's a new meeting. Pull this screen up here so you can see it. I uh, don't need that. All right, if you notice the first item up in the top left corner, it's got my participant ID, but it does not show uh, the meeting ID. So that's the first feature. So to get to the meeting ID, you come over here to the little information icon. You click, there is the meeting ID. Just so you know, the meeting ID still shows up when you go to invite. So the second thing that's changed is invite is missing from my meeting controls at the bottom. It has been replaced by security. So this is a huge update. So the first question I want to answer is where did invite go in case I need to pull that up? It is under manage participants. Uh, invite is now down here as the host. You have mute all and unmute. So there is my invite and it still does work the same. Uh, copy invitation would have the meeting ID in it. And there's my meeting ID again now on the invite screen, but it's not showing on the main window. So that's good. Uh, concerning the security features, oh, just a little minor thing to tell you. When you click here up on the information icon on the left, if I was in my personal meeting room, it would say Chris Menard's personal Zoom meeting. That's how I know I'm not using my personal meeting ID here, in case you didn't know that. And you can always edit this. So if this is a discussion, if I'm at a company, this is a discussion about the budget for 2022, I might name this meeting that. If I'm a college professor or a K-12 uh, instructor, I might change it to be more specific about what we're meeting about. So now let's take a look at what I love Security has been brought down here on the meeting toolbar. I can lock the meeting quickly, meaning once I have the participant panel, you don't have to have the participant panel running, but I would pull this up. Everyone's in the meeting that needs to be in the meeting. Just come here and lock it that fast. Even if you have a link and a password, you cannot get into this meeting. So there's lock meeting right there. Another cool feature, I just unlocked it by the way, I can turn on the waiting room whenever I want to. So I'm going to enable the waiting room. I don't believe I ever made a video about how the waiting room works. So let me just show you this real quick. Right now, I'm the only person in here. Let me find that meeting ID again real quick. I'm going to join through my mobile phone, but act like I'm somebody else joining. Here we go. Watch what happens on my toolbar at the bottom when I join this meeting. Oh, wonderful. The meeting ID is not valid. Let me make sure I type in a meeting ID that works. One, 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 four. Sorry about that. Here I go. That popped up. I haven't touched the screen. Uh, I called myself Chris as a guest. That would be someone's name right there has entered the waiting room. So they're not, they're not in my meeting. They're sitting in a waiting room. Just so you know this about waiting rooms, if people are in a waiting room, they cannot see each other, which is good. So it's not like the waiting room you think about when you go to a physician's office where you can see other people. You cannot see the other people. I can go and take a look at the waiting room. So right there, I can look at it. If I want to admit this person, I can admit one. If I had 15 people in the waiting room and I look through the names and recognize them all, I would have an option to admit all of them at one time. But I'm going to admit 
Chris as a guess. Joining, this should change to two, it did. And now it's just the participant panel. So back to the security features, security. I showed you how to lock the meeting, really cool. I showed you how to enable the waiting room on the fly, really cool feature. I can actually go turn that back off if I wanted to. Allow participants to, this has to do with the Zoom bombing. Actually, a lot of this security does. No, I don't want anyone to share their screen right now. So I'm going to turn off share screen. So I'm the only one as the host that can share. I don't want anyone chatting with anyone else right now. So that's now been turned off. I don't want anyone renaming themselves. In case you're wondering, well, why would you care if someone renamed themselves? Because they may put in a name that isn't appropriate for this meeting. So I'm actually going to turn off rename. Anyway, I'm going to try to keep this video under six minutes and I'm there. Thank you for your time. Keep subscribing to my channel. Keep asking me questions. Uh, have a great day. Thank you.